Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Incognito Islamic Productions. Some Muslims are facing difficulties with passages such as Surah 2, 37, 54, and 160, and others which state that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repented or turned. Most, if not all, translations would translate the Arabic word for repent as meaning relenting towards or pardon or turn to. The reason for this is because that is the correct meaning. In English, it does not make sense to say that someone repented towards somebody else in a way that implies that he has pardoned that person. However, in the Arabic language, the word repent could be used in this way. Thus, those verses in Arabic which speak about Allah repenting are actually speaking about Allah pardoning or forgiving or turning towards that individual. Imam Qurtubi has in this commentary, and others have said that Allah's repenting or turning to his slaves means that he has accepted his slaves' repentance, and this is possible due to the fact that Allah Almighty has said, I have accepted your repentance, meaning to Adam. Imam Tabari, he says, can there be one who is seeking repentance unless there is one repenting towards him? Or can there be one whom one is repenting towards without that one seeking repentance? Tafsir Ajalalain states, Except those that repent, turning back from such deeds and make amends in their actions and show clearly what they were concealing. Then I shall turn relenting, accepting their repentance. I am the relenting, the merciful to the believers. Ibn Abbas, he said, Then Adam السلام, received from his Lord, Adam learned from his Lord, and it is said that he was taught and inspired with words so that they became a way for him and his progeny to repentance. And he relented towards him. He forgave him. Indeed, he is the relenting, the one who overlooks misdeeds, the merciful, towards any that does repentance. Imam Zamakshari, he says in his commentary, he repented to, towards him, meaning he went back to him with mercy and acceptance. Imam Marazi, he describes it well in his commentary by appealing to other methods of speech in the Arabic language, which are similar in nature and have the same grammatical ruling. For instance, he gave the example of a slave who was disobedient to his master. The master in return didn't treat the slave well. However, the slave began to treat his slave master well. In return, the slave's master began to treat the slave well again. Thus, in this case, one would say in the Arabic language, the boy went back to his master and the master went back to him by treating him well and acknowledging him. So Razi argues that the same thing applies in these verses. The slave repented to Allah and that he stopped committing evil and started doing righteous deeds again. And Allah repented towards him or Allah turned towards him in that Allah accepted his repentance. The whole confusion lies in the fact that one is imposing English grammar where it doesn't make sense for one to say that he repents towards someone in the sense of forgiving him upon the Arabic where it does make sense. And indeed, Allah knows best. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.